I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A 16 year old faces numerous charges, including murder stemming from a triple homicide in October. Caden Smith is being charged as an adult. The victims, Michael James, Abdullah Mubarak and Joseph Thomas all died from gunshot wounds. Their bodies were found in a field in the 4400 block of South Meridian Street near Interstate 465. Smith was identified as a suspect through his communication with the victims prior to their murders. A Kokomo mother says the federal government owes her thousands of dollars in child tax credits and stimulus payments. It's been a rough two years for Alexis Haskett and her family. They've been sick with COVID-19 and had to take time without pay. Alexis says they have not received their child tax credits, even though they filed their taxes and even got a letter from the IRS saying they were eligible. They're also missing one of their stimulus payments. And when Alexis goes to the IRS website, it says, Payment status not available. She estimates the federal government owes her $9,200, money she needs, especially around the holidays. Have you tried to contact the IRS and, and what happened with that? Yes, I did. Um, I contacted the IRS. I was on hold for a very long time, finally reached a woman. Um, this was a month or two ago, and she pretty much told me that she couldn't help me, that I just needed to keep checking the website, and the website offers me no information. What is that like as a, as a mom and someone that's struggling? Frustrating. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating because I need to provide for my children. We sent half a dozen emails to the IRS and they told us they are looking into it. The IRS has been plagued with delays due to a backlog of unprocessed 2019 paper returns. Congressional mandates like stimulus checks and tax credits, limited resources and technology issues at the IRS. The IRS says it is working hard to get through the backlog.